Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting installment here at A Week in Geekdom. This time it's another haul video for the month of August. Welcome back guys, I took a brief uh, hiatus, but unfortunately, if you're new here, you've already hit the unsubscribe button and then you subscribe back. It's, it's hilarious watching the numbers go up and down. I have been away for a few weeks, uh, moving back into the house and, and getting everything ready. It's going to take a little bit more time, so I, I think the hiatus will continue for just a tiny bit. But don't worry, there will still be weekly videos on this channel uh so yeah look forward to more videos just at a slower pace and if you're one of the ones that have stayed uh, regardless thank you thank you ever so much i couldn't do the invincible video for the month of august that's that's on me but i promise you guys we'll have double the fun in september with uh the invincible series uh, to wrap it up for now this is the last video on this crappy set of mine, if you will. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm very much excited to begin a We Can Geek Them 3.0, if you will. I do have a haul here, because at the end of every month, I like to highlight all the cool stuff that I got. So let's start with manga first. I did get My Hero Academia Volume 14 and Goodnight Poon Poon. Volume 2. I read Volume 1 and it is really interesting. I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait to dig into this as well as the remaining, uh, as well as the other volumes and really do a video on it because I think this is a series that deserves to be talked about. But I want to get the full picture. I don't want to make any assumptions or anything based off of what I've read already. I want to get the full picture and then bring like this uh, cool little analysis on uh, Poon Poon and then and the series overall and whatnot. This is a massive box of manga. I'm not going to go volume by volume. But I don't know if you can see it. It is a whole bunch of Berserk. The guys over at the Omnibros uh, channel, or I should say, the Omnibus Collectors Network, as they like to call themselves now, uh, they sold me on this, and uh, a bunch of people at the Otaku Otaku's Den, and so many others, so many YouTube videos about manga collections and how fantastic and how amazing Berserk is, that I said, you know what, whatever, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna get berserk so yeah i already had volume one way back and i and i really liked it i never talked about it but i really enjoyed volume one and i never picked up the series but with right stuffs um uh i think it was a golden sale or whatever i picked up uh their manga bundles so there you go berserk that's volume two all the way to 14 and over here 15 16 and uh, I don't know if you can, can you see it? And 17, whatever. So yeah, it's a big box of manga. I still have a long way to go because it's like a hundred million books. <laughs> Next up, uh, what else did I get trade-wise? I did a review very recently for Ultimates uh, from Al Ewing, Wing Volume 1. This is Volume 2, Civil War 2. I'm not looking forward to reading the Civil War 2 stuff, but I am very, uh, I am very much looking forward to continuing the story from Volume 1. You can check out the review on this channel as well. My favorite DC superhero, of course, I had to get Aquaman by Peter David, Volume 2. This is, or Book 2, I should say. This is a quintessential 90s book if you want to collect classic Aquaman material, you need this in your collection. What bothers me is that we still don't have a solicitation for book three. So please go out and get this book. I did a review on the first one. If you're interested on this uh, channel, link it up somewhere uh, with the uh, playlist of all the Aquaman reviews that I've done so far. I'm very much excited uh, uh, to read, to reread, I guess, volume two 
and hopefully we get a solicitation for number three. Green Lantern Rebirth Volume 1. I hadn't picked up anything from the uh, Green Lantern side of things with the whole Rebirth stuff. So I'm very excited to read this. I love uh, Jessica Cruz and Simon Baz. These two characters are pretty awesome in my opinion. And this is an oldie but a goodie because I love me some uh, New Gods action. I had to get Green Lantern New Gods Godhead event. This is just the event from the New 52. And if I remember correctly, it picks up a whole ton of issues from Green Lantern, Core, New Guardians, Sinestro, Annuals, and um, One Shots. It's done by a whole bunch of different people but it's pretty cool. This was a wonderful gift from my friend Beto. Uh, thank you so much. I was not expecting this at all. Uh, I, I loved everything, uh, all the uh, information that came out of San Diego Comic-Con this year, and I loved the poster image, which is like a tribute, I guess, or a composition image based off of Ivan Reyes' uh, image from uh, his new 52 tenure with Jeff Johns and Aquaman and all that stuff. So I'm really excited to finally get this uh, awesome magazine in my possession for uh, the Aquaman collection, I guess. Let's um, head into hardcovers. Not a whole lot, but still pretty sweet. This is an Omnidog recommendation. I have been meaning to check this out since forever. It is Justice League versus Suicide Squad, the event from DC Rebirth. Um, None of the two books interest me, and I do know they <laughs> received mediocre reviews, but I am very interested in this event because I hear it is a ton of fun. And I got it for cheap too, so there you go. I've been slagging on my modern Spidey collection, so I got The Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide Volume 3. Uh, this, I, I am double dipping on the clone conspiracy stuff, but it continues beyond that. And uh, Volume 4 isn't out yet, which bugs me, but we do have the Red Goblin stuff coming up uh, in September, so that should be interesting. Hopefully we do get a solicitation for Worldwide Volume 4, I guess. I have to give a big shout out for this omnibus to my friend Josh. Sir, I, I am in your debt. This is amazing. I wanted to get this when it came out, but for some reason I put it off. And when I finally decided, you know what, I should get it because it's awesome. This is one of my favorite uh, Marvel books. Uh, it, it went out of print and originally this was going to take a different route, but Josh being the awesome person that he is, uh, gifted this to me. So thank you so much, my friend. I, I, I am uh, speechless. This is awesome. I love Jonathan Hickman's Avengers run, specifically Infinity being one of my favorite events, Marvel events. I love that event so much. And speaking of Omnis, uh, my favorite Marvel event. Infinity was one of my favorites, but this is my favorite. I'm sorry. I'm repeating myself. Secret Invasion by Brian Michael Bendis. I love the new Avengers run. One of my favorite Avengers books, and this, Secret Invasion, is my favorite event. I love the whole concept of, uh, uh, like, uh, the campaign they were doing of uh, who do you trust and finding out that the scrolls have basically infiltrated the whole uh, planet from politicians to government officials to uh, uh, military leaders to superheroes, all that stuff, and it's up to a covert operation to... The, uh, fight this uh, secret invasion if you will so yeah this is spectacular folks plus in my wildest conspiracy theories I I want to believe that this is where we're headed with um, uh, the movies uh, the Marvel movies with Disney and all that stuff because out of the blue to not have New Avengers Omnibus Volume 2, and all of a sudden, after a couple movie announcements before Phase 3 ended, to get this it seems kind of suspicious. Plus, we've got that Captain Marvel Brie Larson movie, and it's going to adapt, sort of, the Kree and Scroll War, and we're going to see the Scrolls for the very first time in a movie. Coincidence much? I, I, don't, I don't know. I would like to think that MCU Phase 4 or whatever is going to take some hints 
with this book. Maybe. I don't know. That, that, that's it for books per se, but the fun doesn't end here because at Awaken Geekdom, we also enjoy the thrill of pop and figures and anime and Blu-rays and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to show you the uh, Blu-ray DVD section of this haul. I had to do it. My favorite, one of my favorite anime series, Eureka 7. This is Eureka 7 High Evolution, the new movie uh, remake uh, trilogy or something. Uh, even if it's not as great as the series, I'm still going to get this uh, trilogy because I love the franchise so much. It's one of my favorites. Except Ao, but don't tell anybody I said that. Uh, aside from the magazine, uh, my friend Beto uh, surprised me with these two amazing Criterion Collection uh, Blu-rays, The Devil's Backbone and Kronos from Guillermo del Toro. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know, man. It, it, the generosity that I have experienced with uh, friends and people from uh, from the Facebook groups and all that stuff and uh, my fellow YouTubers and all that. It's just, uh, oh, it can be overwhelming. It, it certainly puts a smile to my face and reminds me of how, you know, it's just the random acts of kindness that just push the, or it keeps the darkness at bay. I think it was something like that. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much, man. Speaking of Blu-rays, I did get Avengers Infinity War, the 4K edition. I had to do it. It's one of the year's biggest nerd movies. Uh, the Death of Superman, the DC animated movie. This is set in continuity with the animated movie universe. It's not like a direct adaptation. Digimon Adventure Try, Coexistence. This is the fifth uh, movie. There's one more to go. I don't know when that will be released. I think next year or something like that. I upgraded my DVD set to the Blu-ray. The greatest love story ever animated. I love this series very much. Odeka 7 is a fantastic animated show that I think everybody should watch. Uh, continuing my Gundam journey with the Universal Century stuff, uh, here we have Gundam F91 on Blu-ray. And because it's not out yet on Blu-ray, I went ahead and picked up the DVD of 0080 uh, War in the Pocket on DVD. That's it for movies. Let's finish things off with figures. Mostly a pop haul. I'll go by quickly. Don't worry about it. Loot Anime sometimes puts out awesome stuff and such was the case with this. It's an Astro Boy light up figure and it looks pretty awesome. I love the box art and let me do like a quick unboxing real quick because I want you guys to see it. I don't have the light up feature right here, but yeah, this is basically it. Like like the x-ray from the manga and show. And you can see it lights up and everything. This is pretty awesome. I love old Japanese anime, cartoons, whatever. It, it looks so, so uh, awesome in the collection, in my honest opinion. I love it. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, so yeah, Pops, Pops. Let's do Pops. I gotta get another shout out to my friend Michael Curry. This, I was not expecting this at all. This took me by surprise. Sir, you did not have to do this. But I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Mike. It is uh, the Hellboy in suit from the San Diego Comic-Con wave of Pops or whatever. Uh, I had a scuff with uh, Entertainment Earth for some reason. They didn't want us in the package. I'm like, well, okay, whatever. Uh, no biggie. But it's, it's, it's really badass. And Mike surprised me with this. He had an extra one. Thank you so much. Speaking of extra ones and exclusives, uh, the whole thing with uh, Beto and, and, and the thing was because he went out of, his, out of his way to get this for me online. If the camera can focus, it is uh, Eraserhead from My Hero Academia, the Hot Topic exclusive. And after uh, Battle Deku, people are nuts over My Hero Academia pops because they think uh, every exclusive is going to mean big bucks. I don't know. I was fortunate enough to get the original set 
when it first came out and um, yeah I'm starting to get the second set and started with this guy first sort of to get the headache out of the way first is Steamboat Willie I don't know if you've watched my channel but there's a video on here that was about grail pops like my top 10 uh, most wanted uh, Funko Pops. This was on the list, like the original Steamboat Willie, which uh, it kind of looks pretty outdated compared to this one. I was so happy when this was solicited. It it's so freaking cool. It's a common, but it is awesome. The attention to detail on this thing is pretty freaking great, man. I am really happy with it. I don't know if I featured this, but it's flocked and it's an Amazon exclusive from Prime Day. It is Sully from. Monsters Inc. I love this. This is really, really awesome. Look at that. Easily contender for uh, Pop of the Year. I don't know if it'll make the list or not, but at least to me it is. Next up, one of the many headaches for a lot of fans. It is the Pikachu Pokemon Pop for uh, Target exclusive. Listen, this was a pain to get because one, there are no targets over here. Two, it's a Target exclusive, so a lot of people are going to jump on it real quickly. And if I was lucky enough to get it via the store, they don't ship to my specific address, so I had to go the eBay route, unfortunately. But I got a great deal on it, just like $4 over what I would have paid uh, with the actual store, so I was happy with it. Uh, and just the fact that we have... But, or not we, but Funko has the Pokemon license. <sighs> that tickles my geek spot really good because that means there is a possibility that we can get like if Evolution 3 packs or like the starters or 6 inch or 10 inch pops for the legendaries. Like imagine a uh, 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 Lugia or ho -Oh or Darkrai, whatever. Just these legendary Pokemon like huge pops or you can have six inch uh, starters like uh, Blastoise, Charizard, blah 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 or my personal favorite, my favorite Pokemon out of everybody uh, for Alligator six inch version, yes please. You can also do uh, like the, the shiny versions could be your chases uh, there's so much you can do. You can do 8-bit for the OG uh, Gen 1 uh, Pokemon you got me, Funko. You got me. Let's see what happens in 2019 with the license. So yeah, uh, that's it, guys. A bunch of cool stuff in the month of August. Unfortunately, I couldn't do many videos, but that's okay. Because there are more days ahead of us, and I will be uploading uh, more frequently soon. So thank you, guys. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. If you can... Hit the little notification bell so whenever I do decide to upload a video, you'll know about it and you can view it and share it and do all that wonderful stuff that you guys do. Follow me on your favorite social media platform and I will catch all of you on our next video.